Sean the sheepdog wasn't your average herder. Sure, he enjoyed chasing pesky squirrels and napping in the shade of the apple tree, but Sean harbored a secret passion. Yarn. The fluffy, colorful strands held an irresistible allure for him, a siren song he couldn't ignore. One crisp autumn morning, a commotion erupted from the farmhouse. Farmer John stormed out, muttering about a missing basket and his prize-winning Angora wool. This wool, spun from the softest fleece of Farmer John's prized Angora rabbits, was destined for a national knitting competition. Without it, Farmer John was toast, or more accurately, sweaterless. Sean, his ears perked with suspicion, knew exactly where to look. Millie the mink, a notorious kleptomaniac with a penchant for shiny things, lived in a burrow by the creek. Yarn, especially the kind used for prestigious knitting competitions, was right up her alley. Sean, ever the reluctant hero, but a hero nonetheless, decided to investigate. He trotted towards the creek, his nose twitching with the earthy scent of freshly dug earth. He soon spotted Millie, her sleek black fur stained a suspicious shade of pink. In her burrow, a veritable yarn wonderland unfolded, balls of every color imaginable, nestled amongst half-eaten muffins and a rusty spoon collection. Millie was a creature of eclectic tastes. Sean, channeling his inner sheepdog, barked a fierce yet slightly sheepish warning. Millie, startled, dropped a giant ball of the stolen angora wool. It bounced down the burrow, landing with a plop right at Sean's paws. A tense standoff ensued. Sean, despite his impressive bark, was no match for Millie's sharp teeth. Just as Millie lunged for the yarn, a loud ba echoed through the air. It was Beatrice, the Angora rabbit, her fluffy white fur bristling with indignation. Beatrice, surprisingly sprightly for a rabbit, charged at Millie, nipping at her tail fur with surprising ferocity. Millie, overwhelmed by the fluffy fury, yelped and retreated deeper into her burrow. Sean, seizing the opportunity, grabbed the angora wool and raced back to the farmhouse. Farmer John, relieved beyond words, showered Sean with praise and a particularly juicy bone. Sean learned a valuable lesson that day. Sometimes, the best way to solve a problem is with a little teamwork, even if your teammate is a slightly grumpy rabbit with a bone to pick. As for Millie, she emerged from her burrow later, muttering about the audacity of fluffy farm animals and the lack of good manners in the knitting world. But the Angora wool? Safely back in Farmer John's hands, ready to be transformed into a truly magnificent and hopefully award-winning sweater.